Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how to install Elementor. This includes installing the base Elementor plugin as well as the Pro plugin. What's also important to make sure Elementor is running smoothly is to use a theme that's fully compatible. Um, a good one would be the Hello theme that's also built with Elementor, which is what's currently running on this website now. So first thing you want to do once you've logged in is navigate to the plugin section and we're going to start with installing the base Elementor plugin. So you just navigate to plugins, click add new, and then look for the Elementor plugin. And you want, you're looking for Elementor website builder by Elementor.com and just install now. And then you want to activate it. The base Elementor plugin is free and there's a lot of things you can do with just the free version. Um, but to make sure that you're getting the full experience with Elementor and using everything that they are offering, you want to install the pro version as well. So what you want to do is click on the Go Pro call to action here and you'll be redirected to Elementor's website. And you'll have two options. Either you can log in straight away if you've already bought it um, through this button up here, or you can go through their pricing plans and their different options and see which one you like. So they have different um, options if you want to just buy the Elementor Pro plugin or if you want to buy the plugin as well as um, host your website with them. They also have that option. They also have different options for um, different website types. Like if you want to, if you want it for just one website, then you have the essential plan. Then you have for more than 25 websites, for 100 websites or for 1,000 websites. So it's up to you to decide what pricing plan is suits you. And then once you're, once you've confirmed what you want, you just click buy now and then you'll be redirected to the checkout asking you to fill in your card details and then just also asking you to create an account. If you've already bought the Elementor plugin and you have everything, uh, you have an account and everything set up, what you want to do is just click log in instead. And you'll be asked to log in with the account details. So you just type in your email and your password and you just log in and you get redirected to your list of webs. And what you want to do is navigate to subscriptions. And you should see all the subscriptions that you've um, paid for and this is where you'll find your Elementor plugin. So what you want to do is come to the one that you want to, that you've just paid for and then just click download zip. And you should see a zip file um, being downloaded now. And then what you want to do is go back into plugins, click add new, click upload plugin, choose file, and then select the Elementor file that you just downloaded. And then just click install now. And then you just want to click activate plugin. And you should see your plugin then activated. Now that everything's been successfully installed and activated, you can see on the left you have the Elementor and template tabs. Um, and these come with Elementor and this is what you'll use to kind of build out pages and new sections and new templates and things like that.